What's up guys, it's Creon R, and I'm back with part 2 of the Trinity Core tutorial on how to make a Trinity Core server. So now, um, once it's done building in Visual C++ 2008, you should have something like this. Um, it won't be exactly like this when I guarantee it, because um, I actually rebuilt it just to show you this part. Um, it'll probably say something like 12, or it even could say 15, just it'll say more than 5. Just as long as it says 0 failed though. That's good. Um, nine up to date. It means it's still built them. Um, I really haven't looked up on that. I will, but uh, they still got built, so don't worry about that too much. Now we can go and exit um, Visual C++. Just exit that, and in the compiled folder where you um, originally put the SLN, the Trinity Core SLN, and you clicked it. Go there. There will be a new folder called Bin. Open that, and then open the release folder. This has all your files in it. Um, now I'm going to go into just a folder I want to place these. Um, I prefer to make a folder called whatever my private server's name is and then put the MySQL folder and then put the core folder. Then I'm just going to drag and drop all of this in there. And it's that simple. So now you want to rename the allserver.conf.dist to just allserver.conf. And do the same for world server. And now you want to open this up with Notepad, WordPad, whatever, and you want to go to the MySQL settings. Um, change this part to root, and then ascent. I will have that in the description because um, most people can't understand my southern accent. So you'll just X out of that. Actually, I'm going to open that back up. You don't have to do this part. Um, I'm just opening it back up so I can copy this um, so the process doesn't take so long. And then in the world configuration folder, you want to scroll down to the connection and directories um, section and just replace this with whatever you had. Um, whatever, when you, to root and ascent, I'm sorry, you want to replace that with root and ascent, then you're ready to go. So now that you have the MySQL path set up, you are almost ready. Now you actually have to implement the database tables. We can go ahead and close that. So to do this, you want to make sure your MySQL server is running. I'll show you how to do that. We'll just go in the underscore server folder, click MySQL, and bam, it's up. So we can exit out of that, go into the SQLs, and go to Base, World Base and Updates is where I like to start first. Um, implement the World Database first, which is TDB Full. These others are updates, so don't worry about them. Um, I'm going to load them into the editor. I get errors with that um, because the database isn't already created, so let's go into this. My computer is going to run slow for just a couple minutes. And it should load up any second now. So we're going to tap out of that and put this right here. So now that this is loaded up, what you want to do is right click the database name. Click create new database and just name it world. Then tab this down, click world. All you got to do is just left click it. Then click the blue um, play button. That's actually the execute SQL script button, but just I just call it a blue play button. So um, that'll run through this. Um, this is going to take um, probably about half a minute, um, not too long. Most things take half a minute. Um, lost connection to MySQL server. Okay, that's never happened. So let's try it again. Let's just go ahead and empty whatever's in here, and we're going to try running it again. I oh, actually have to go to the tables or wait. Okay, click this then drop and okay. So now we will try this again and we're going to go to this and just run it. Okay, so I don't understand how it would have lost connection to the MySQL database when um, this is on local host, but I guess it's possible. Okay, so let's let it run through the skin. If the same problem happens, then I will fix it real quick and get back to you guys. Um, I 
Okay, it seems to be fixed. Now watch it mess up, because I just said it seems to be fixed. And it has not messed up yet. So that means that we are in the clear, and everything's executing like it's supposed to. So we will be done, and it is done. So now you have a full world database. So when you click this, it'll take a second, and bam, you have everything you need. So now that the um, main part is done, we can go ahead and exit out of Heidi SQL, and we can open up the other SQLs, which I already had open, and you go just, and um, we're going to do the auth database now. So just create a new database and name it auth. Okay, and then just um, go ahead and create another database and call it characters. Now with the auth database, we want to execute this script. This won't take long at all. It's already done, so now we want to go ahead and exit and click characters. Click the characters database that we created and just run it. This um, could take a couple seconds. Um, yeah, so it's almost done. And it's done. So now we can exit this. And uh, that's it for the SQL part. Your server should be up and running, so let's test it. We're going to run off server. There you go. The off server's up and running. Put it right there. Just get it all nice and neat. Then the world server. And there we go. The world server's up and running. Don't forget to drag in the DBC maps and vmaps from the server extras folder. That'll be included in the repack specifically for this tutorial. So now that that's up and running, we want to go and type account create. Um, this is going to be the account you want to create. I'm just going to put admin as the username and admin as the password. Then just run that. It says account created admin. So now you want to do account. This is if you want this account to be a GM. Account set GM level. And we're going to put in admin. And then we'll put accounts. Um, three, and then we will put negative one. Negative one means that it's going to be a gem on all realms. So then we'll just click enter, and there you go. Change security level of account admin to three. That means that this account is a gem or of highest ranking. So that means that we are done with that. So let's go and test it out. So we're going to go into the um, my paths folder, which is not open. So I'll just go to computer paths. Um, you guys won't have to go to this because I have this down here where it uh, does. Let me show you. It goes out like that, and um, that's a special thing. So um, that's why I have it in this folder. So then I'll just click dev server and run. And I'm hoping that I left this connected to 127.0.0.1. And now we'll just click this and we're going to put in admin and admin and now you should connect um, as you can see everything's up we can create a character just name it test and yeah that'll be good just create it in our world um, it'll load up really fast because it's on a local area connection or local host and then we're just going to exit this and make sure that everything's like it's supposed to yeah there you go your server's up and running, so you're ready to start working um, on getting your server up and ready for other people to play. So now let's exit this, exit game. And I'm going to show you guys real quick how to actually edit the realm list. So you want to go to your install location um, for World of Warcraft. Mine will be right here. Uh, most people may have one World of Warcraft client, um, but I have several for um, development reasons. So World of Warcraft development then data ENUS and right here this folder just click edit with notepad or whatever and um, this is actually it's connecting because I have this on a LAN but um, what you want to set it to is 127.0.0.1 and then just save it and there you go or wait a second how to connect to that because I don't okay um Actually, it's going to look 
something like um, you don't, don't worry it's gonna look something like this I'm gonna actually um, copy that because I don't know how this happened um, that's kind of weird but yeah so it'll look like that so let's actually copy and paste that and save and then there you go so now everything's done you have successfully made a Trinity Core server so thanks for watching please subscribe I will definitely be making more Trinity Core tutorials um, see you guys in the near future